if you're worried about traveling with your carbon fins you don't want to put them in your checked luggage uh, you can bring them on carry-on i just put some saran wrap over them i get it not the most eco-friendly but in terms of transportation it's super effective and yeah no one questions it works perfect for carry-on baggage How's it going everybody? It is a beautiful day here in Bermuda. I just got in last night with my wife, son, and Jasmine and Sayla. We flew across, uh, across the country uh, to Toronto and then made our final last leg to Bermuda. It was a long, long commute, but we got here uh, safe and sound. The wind is up today. It's supposed to be up for the next few days. Uh, still probably able to get into the water out here, but I'll wait till tomorrow when the wind's coming in from the north. Should have a bit more protection, so today I'm going to go look for some bottles and a little uh, inlet, uh, a lot of history in that inlet, and might find some cool artifacts, you never know. Uh, for this trip, I got a lot of gear with me. We got my green CE light, the 2500 lumen. If you guys haven't checked them out yet, my dad buddy Ken and I are selling these. Uh, they're great, super, super bright. I shop with Diving Sports, hooked me up with this uh, SEAC dive computer. I don't really dive with a computer, I found them a bit of a distraction, but I'm going to try this one out and see how it performs. It's looking pretty sweet so far. I ordered a uh, crusty uh, 3.5 mil suit. The water temperature here drops a little bit in the winter time, so 3.5 uh, should keep me, keep me nice and toasty. Yeah, it looks like a great suit, 3.5 mil. I forgot my uh, dive mask, but luckily, uh, Lakeva and Garth, they have uh, some snorkeling gear here. I think I have the same mask, uh, except uh, as the uh, hammerhead logo on it so uh, same mask the silicone shirt super soft the downside is if i have any facial hair it leaks so better be clean shaven this whole entire trip last time i was here i didn't bring a knife with me and i regretted it i have to get my light uh, snagged up on some uh, kite line somebody lost in the water uh, so yeah it's always good to have a knife for safety uh, one more uh, piece of equipment ashraf hooked up this is a neck weight my, made by alchemy uh, it's a pretty cool design. I also don't really like diving with neck weights. I find when I'm looking up snorkeling in the water, my neck gets sore. Uh, so this is good for deeper diving, which I probably won't be doing too much of this trip, but I'm still, still going to try it out. It's a really nice design with the uh, silicone. You can bend it and form it right to your neck. Uh, so yeah, for a neck weight, I'm, I'm sure these things are phenomenal. Oh, and I got a, a weight belt I just leave here in Bermuda. This is a C4. Uh, silicone so also grips that wetsuit really really nicely yeah i'm excited to get out in the water the water visibility should be great the plan changed a little bit didn't take long uh, the wind is coming from the north now so the south side here is pretty calm so that means i'm going to jump in the water here it's a little bit more convenient i'll get to figure out my weighting because uh yeah i've done it dove in a 1.5 mil dove in a 5 mil dove in a 7 mil but never a three and a half mil so don't want to have too much weight, but don't want to be underweighted either. So I can hit this up and then probably later uh, check out the uh, inlet there for some bottles. It was raining pretty hard, but it sure beats snow. Plus, last time I checked, the ocean is pretty wet anyway. Hush, my darling, don't be sad. I know the world is big and bad and the people in charge the devil reincarnate You think they're done they barely even started Hi. The water was still pretty warm around 21 degrees I probably could have gotten away with my 1.5 mil suit but I don't regret bringing the three and a half I saw this bag on my last trip by the time I leave it will be gone Unless you stand for right then sit back down Still can't harvest as I'm a non-resident, but bottle hunting is always a fun time. They fuel the fire underneath your I swam to the outer reef and did a few deeper drops, but I wasn't very relaxed. Too bad I can't help bring the lionfish populations down. But as long as you stand for something, we'll be proud. Unless you stand. Thanks 
Thanks again, Carmena, for the tracks. This song is awesome. of the Netflix documentary Puff Wonders the Reef. I love our coast in British Columbia, but diving around these massive curls sure is an impressive sight. How's your day going? Good. Hey, buddy. <laughs> It was a good time in the water out there. Uh, visibility was half decent, uh, but still saw a lot of a lot of parrotfish and saw that big black grouper. And what else? Uh, yeah, found one cool bottle. Uh, I'm gonna take Shayla into the hot tub, and then if I get time, I'll still do that bottle bottle mission a bit later. I got that. What are you seeing out here? I got that. What? A coconut. A coconut. Yeah, yeah a coconut. Oh, yum, 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 you're pretty smart. Yeah, yum yum. They're pretty good. I don't know if you can eat those ones though. Yeah, it's pretty late in the day. It's uh, 2 30 here. It gets dark at 5 18, but the uh, spot I'm gonna hit is about 10 15 minute drive away. By the time I gear up, give it another 20. It should be in the water by three ish, and then it uh, gives me at least an hour and a half to look around for some bottles, snorkel around. I'm already a bit tired, I haven't eaten much today, and I was in the water there for probably at least two hours. But nice warm water. You can uh, definitely put your endurance to the test out here. My wife's family friends live around this area and they have pulled up some awesome stuff. Old aqua blue bottles from the 1800s and I wanted to get my hands on one. This spot was surprisingly hard to dive though. A. The current was ripping. B. The visibility resembled the PNW in the springtime. And C. I had to keep my eyes peeled for marine traffic. I'm sure there was people wondering what the hell I was up to, but diving these random spots is my forte, as you never know what you're gonna see. I was seeing loads of bottles from the first drop. Most didn't appear too old, but the marine growth made them beautiful nonetheless. Had the visibility been better, the snorkeling here would have been on point. All these bait fish weren't making my task any easier. All the older looking bottles I was finding were unfortunately broken. Some were still worth keeping though. This right here was the day's highlight. I didn't even see this male octopus until it was right in my face. Bermuda only has one kind of octopus, the common octopus, which is a master of disguise and camouflage. You can see the female protecting her eggs. What a cool creature. I was also able to track the male down. I've never had a decent octopus encounter, so I was hoping this guy would hang out. But I think I killed its vibe, and it didn't seem to impress with me at all. Oh well, time to keep exploring. As tempting as it was, some bottles were too covered in life to keep.
Great time out there. I saw those octopus. That was pretty neat. Female on its eggs. And uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of bottles. They're not ancient, but they still look really nice with all the marine growth. <clears throat> this guy here looks pretty old, but yeah, you can tell he's not intact. It's crazy how thick they made glass back in the day. Uh, but yeah, some nice uh, decor for the garden out here. We're gonna order some pizza and I'll probably start editing. Brought my laptop this time so I don't have to edit seven or eight videos when I go back to Vancouver. Um, so hopefully this one gets pumped out sooner than later. All right, thanks. And day two tomorrow, more diving. More awesome times here.